I want to show you guys something that's like is so akin to life that I keep noticing. I'm here in the lawn, just just trying. I'm here, I'm just trying to pluck up some interesting little creatures. Here. I don't know what these little not creatures. I call them creatures in the sense that it's like these kind of plants. I don't know what they are. I can Google it, but I'm like, you know, I noticed that the whole lawn pretty much looks nice and green and for as nice around as it is, beautiful as it is. But if you look closely, there's some things hidden among it. There's some different kind of green things that looks like grass, but it's not grass, hidden among the grass. It's like, look at them. Look at them, they look like grass, but they're not, see them there? And when you go to get them, it's like a whole network. It's a whole network, let me, back, let me pan back a little bit. You're thinking it's just one thing, but look, look, there's a network. You see this? It's attached to another network. I've gone to, as I walk the dog sometime, I look and I see, I say, hey, what is going on here? I noticed, I noticed the grass don't look the same. These little tiny little beady plants are just blocking some, but look at them, you see them here? They're a network, they're there, they're a network. And before you know it, one thing leads to another. This is like, these are like bad habits in this, in this world. Bad habits, as well as invasive thoughts and things in this life that can creep into our lives, creep into our lawn, creep into our nice peace. That is kind of, if you don't get them when they're small, they messed up, but you know something? This is when tell it also where God said, let the wheat and the tear grow together. Because at the same time, I can, when they're so tiny, I can't necessarily see them and, and spot them out. But when they're bigger, like those guys there, I can then root them and pull them out. You see? When they were tiny, like little babies, I can't see them. But when they're big and more mature, then I can see them. Why do you think God put us in the Garden of Eden to till it? Because by gardening, you get to see a lot about life. These guys here were just a little tidbit of what was in the ground already. Look at them. A whole bunch of them. Fluffy, green, whatever they are. But the way they, when they grow more, they take away resources from the regular grass and they get it. I know this is what they call crab grass. All this was in the grass, buried there. It looks nice and green, but I'm like, this is with the camera. No, I have the phone, I have the, I have the line. But they look nice and green. I'm like, hey, here they are. Look again. They look nice and green, like regular grass. They kind of blend in. Like, you know, this, this thing, they think they live or they are, they are among us, you know? These creatures amongst the amazing little body snatchers. These little creatures here look like grass, but they're not really grass. But look at them carefully. Look at this. Look at this. On top of the grass, it buries and kills the grass. Looking like grass. Pretend, it's a pretender. This is almost like false teachers and false preachers in this world and people who are fakers. So called. Look at this. Oh, wait. I thought it was just that. Look, there's more. No, this is not a prop. Look, this thing is fake. It's not a real thing. It's not supposed to be a part of the grass. Look, wait, what? There's more. Look, all of this is part of a network of stuff that's not even supposed to be there. Grass is supposed to be here, like this. Where did this come from that looks the same, blends in the same, but it's sapping resources from them? Do we have leaders or people around us who look like us, talk like us, sound like us, act like us, but are really just a pack of fakers or a pack of pretenders? Whether it's in the religious or business or health community or anywhere, anywhere in this world. Do we have people among us? Ours? Now I say this in the backdrop of please, you know, not negating anything I see, not negating anything I see what happening when, in the place of Libya and Morocco. I pray for those families and people that, you know, that they find more, more people alive because the death tolls are rising fast. But I'm saying, this is something also. There are people also here that can manipulate weathers and other things around the country and around the world in different countries. I would not be surprised if some things might have been involved in something like, you know, we're still questioning what happened in Maui and other places. But I'm just saying, watch for the people around us. To spot the counterfeits, you have to be familiar with the original. To spot false teachers and false Christ, you have to be familiar with God. You know, you must be familiar with God. Okay? So we must find out which one is of God and which one is not. Now those are there. We can see those there. So I'm going to mark them. I got to get them. Are there any more of them like that? Are there any more that look the same, blend in the same, but I need to get? We know we got those we gotta get. But look, there's also some here. They're there. They're there. These losses might know I have not. I'm seeing what looks like I'm seeing, right? I thought I'm seeing just green grass. But I might really have an invasion of species that are trying to take over the grass. Look closely. Look closely. They're trying to take over the grass, blending in among the grass. Like people who's come into different organizations, different peace parts of government said they're here to do the work of the people. But they just blend it in, sap it in and siphon in the resources. Fakers and pretenders, look, it spread this much. It's going from over there by the road. I plucked up some of the first, the grass is first growing. Now they got more, they're not even more further from the side there. They're up here. 
They're not as far as far because I got a lot of them when they were smaller, but I noticed they grow. But again, some of them you can only tell that they are, they are when they finally mature. Does not sound like us in life and our families and our children and our, our own people, people and personalities. Here, check this. This one is alone right now. See how he blends it in? Nice and small. But you gotta pluck them up at the roots before they get there. Now, the devil can use the same analogy like if he was like any time with him um, trying to pluck up. Good one, like the deliverer, like Messiah. Didn't they try to do this to Jesus and the Messiah? Didn't they try to do this to him and Moses and everybody else? They sent people in to try to destroy the little baby boys and the little children. Because they didn't want us to go in there and try to pluck up the real thing. The real ones that need to get plucked up, the fake ones. Those guys need to get plucked up. But instead, they have us plucking up our own the good people. Believing that they're the bad people. But it's really the bad people that are there. So they blend in among us thinking, that, hey, they won't notice that. They won't be any wise. I plucked all of them up over here before. Thank goodness they didn't grow anymore. But as God said, we have to be careful and use tact. Maybe we have to let them grow a little bit more to see them. Because sometimes we don't see them until they're too overgrown. But I see them here. I see this invasive patch here. From here, so it's in here. If you don't see, I see it. It's here. It's all the way here. All the way here. It's about. It's almost like a shape of a cross. Like a, you know, like like three, four feet wide by like four feet, four five feet long. All here. You see? But you don't see it. It just blends in. How very convenient. Well, they gotta survive too. <laughs> yeah, and then finally, there's no grass. Look, they're all in the grass everywhere. All here. All in the grass. But you can't see them. Just like people in this world who are there, supposedly doing the will of God, but are not. They're invasive species. If you look closely, you'll see that there's a network. There's a connection they have together. They band together in confederacies. Here they are. See? Did you see that before? They band together in confederacies and groups. And if you know, look, look, that one plant, I have some in my hand, but look, that one plant is now, has like tentacles. Look, look at this. Look at it. Can you see good on the camera? they here. This one thing has a lot more reach. A lot more connections. Look, here's more. Blended among the grass. No, I didn't put them there, because they're still anchored. See? Look, there's more. All here. So look at this. Remember to you. So you look, you said, look, all of this is here. Look, 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 look. Look at this. It's here. All blended in among the grass. We need to be able to spot the fakers and the counterfeits by studying the original. Study God and his word, and you'll spot the counterfeits and the fakes. That's one of the reasons why God asked us to do gardening. There's a lot of lessons to be learned. There's one here. Oh, look, there's a neighbor. There's more here, right next to it. Look at more, more counterfeits, more fakes. Look in the same, even this way. But we wouldn't notice it if we're too busy. If we're running around the place, chasing everything, looking to driving by so fast, <laughs> we wouldn't notice the vine network that's built into the system here that's there. That now you can see when you finally get up. Did you see? It's like the aliens. We always watch the videos about the aliens coming out of your chest and coming out of your stuff, taking over stuff. And look here. The aliens are right among us. Blended in. Looking like there's nothing. But they're really an invasive species. How very interesting. I thank you, God, for the extra insight and for the time to slow down a bit and to take a Shabbat or a rest. Time to take a rest and take a look and see what else. So see, these are more mature. See how big the leaves are? These are still babies, but they're coming up still. So, because I spot them, I can work on them. You see them? I pull them in, you see them? see them? They're tied here. I can spot them now. Think of your life. How does garden, can, how garden can be so akin and personified to life? Look, I'm here looking at them. I'm just plugging them up. Look how tied they are. I'm happy I found the little issues now while they're small before they get overgrown too much. Because look. I'm happy God gave us the wisdom to take a look and peek and see if there's anything. I'm happy God said to try the spirits and see if there's anything that's not like this. If they speak not according to the law and to the prophets, it's because there's no light in them. I'm happy that God said, do not believe everyone that says, Lord, Lord, but he or her that does the will of our Father in heaven. So here they are. Look, all of them here, all of this. I'm putting the other one in my hand that's there, but look, all of this is part of it. Now, before you saw clear grass, but now you see heaps, and they still blend in. Heaps of stuff. You see what lying among us? I'm gonna go finish digging and getting the rest of them out to get what else is there. I think I might need a longer pants. I don't want the ants to bite me. They're always fighting me. You know? Thinking I'm gonna destroy their home. I'm not destroying their stuff, but I'm just trying to get the stuff out that's destroying the, the lawn, the grass. The grass needs to grow too. These guys are invasion species. We don't need them there. You know? I'm not calling for hate and violence against anybody else. I'm just talking about plants here, okay? Keep it simple to plants, but I'm also talking about spiritual fights, spiritual warfare, spiritual battles. Looks just the same, blended in the same, walking among us, 
looking like the grass, but are not really grass. They're invading the grass. They're invading the society. They're invading the lives of the grass. We are the grass. These are the invaders. Nephilims, I didn't call them that. I call them evil angels, evil messengers of what? What are they delivering to us? Messengers of death, messengers of harm. Do they have any toxins in the system? What are they delivering to us? Hmm? Look at this thing. They look the same. And they're small, you can't really pluck them up much, you know, because you're thinking they're just innocent. It's a small thing, you know, like it's like a little spark that can start a fire later on, you know? I haven't heard much about the Mari fire after. It's like the news has died down so quick. Hmm, I wonder why they didn't finish it. I mean, I heard the same people managing it, the same way that man managed the Mandalay Bay stuff. Hmm, well, isn't that so interesting? Look, all this stuff is here. All these things are here. And say, what do you mean? Look, they're here. Right amongst us, all digging into the grass, all inside there. And we're thinking we just, <laughs> I'll tell you, you can apply to so many things, but that's why I think God put us to the gardening because there's a lot of lessons we can learn, even from just taking the time to stoop down low and look, look, you see the network as you pull it? Things are moving, see? All of this, they're invading the whole grass. Look at the piles so far, if you can see them. I'm just coming to show you. I'm trying to get them, but they're there. Looking, blending in so well. But there, so you gotta watch for them. You gotta spot them up. You gotta be able to spot the counterfeits. Spot the counterfeits by studying the original. Study God's word and his plan for your life, and you can see the counterfeits. Okay? And why you to try to treat those this is good too. <laughs> okay? But look at them, you see? They're more. See them right there? See them? They're there. I'm coming for them. All right, as I said, this is war. War against Satan and satanic policies and people. You gotta make sure to spot the truth. God bless you.